In this video, we will be looking at solving quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. Let's take a question. Question 1. Solve the quadratic equation 2x squared minus 3x minus 5 equals 0. We will be using the quadratic formula. This is the best method of solving most quadratic equations. All you need to know here is how to use the formula. First, make sure your equation is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. That means everything is on one side of the equation and 0 is on the other side. This is already in that form. In this form, the coefficient of the x squared or the number with the x squared is your a value. Here, the a value is 2. The b is the coefficient of the x or the number with the x. So here, the b is negative 3. Please note that the minus is the sign of the number following it. That's why we have negative 3. Then c is the constant. Here, the c value is negative 5. Again, the minus is the sign of the 5. That's why we have negative 5. Now we put these values in our formula. The quadratic formula is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We'll just replace each of the letters by their values. Please take note of the color code so you know where everything is coming from. We have x equals minus negative 3 plus or minus square root of negative 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 5 all over 2 times 2. We work out what is under the root sign first. Negative 3 squared is negative 3 times negative 3, which is 9. Minus 4 times 2 times negative 5 will be positive 40. So we add 9 plus 40 to get 49. We can then find the square root of the 49. Finding the square root gives us 7. We know that minus negative gives positive. So the minus negative 3 is simply positive 3. Also, the 2 times 2 in the denominator will be 4. So we now have x equals 3 plus or minus 7 all over 4. Notice we have plus or minus. We can solve the plus part first. We have x equals 3 plus 7 over 4. 3 plus 7 is 10. This is 10 divided by 4. We can reduce this to get x equals 5 over 2. Next, we solve the minus part. We have x equals 3 minus 7 over 4. 3 minus 7 is negative 4. This is negative 4 divided by 4. This will give us x equals negative 1. So our answer is x equals 5 over 2 or x equals negative 1. Please, in solving quadratic equations using the quadratic formula, the most important thing is being extra cautious. There are a lot of operations involved. Students usually get questions wrong only because they made some basic mistake like not adding well or forgetting to divide. Let's take our next question. Question 2. Solve the quadratic equation 2x squared plus 7x equals negative 6. We will be using the quadratic formula. First, make sure your equation is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. That means everything is on one side of the equation and 0 is on the other side. This is not in that form. We have to move the negative 6. Because it is negative, we can move it across the equal sign to become positive. So we will have 2x squared plus 7x plus 6 equals 0. Now it's in the form that we want. In this form, the coefficient of the x squared or the number with the x squared is your a value. Here, the a value is 2. The b is the coefficient of the x or the number with the x. So here, the b is 7. Then c is the constant. Here, the c value is 6. Now we put these values in our formula. The quadratic formula is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We'll just replace each of the letters by their values. 
please take note of the color code so you know where everything is coming from. We have x equals minus 7 plus or minus square root of 7 squared minus 4 times 2 times 6 all over 2 times 2. We work out what is under the root sign first. 7 squared is 7 times 7, which is 49. Minus 4 times 2, times 6, will be negative 48. So we add 49 minus 48 to get 1. We can then find the square root of the 1. Square root of 1 is 1. This part is simply negative 7. The 2 times 2 in the denominator will be 4. So we now have x equals negative 7 plus or minus 1 all over 4. Notice we have plus or minus. We can solve the plus part first. We have x equals negative 7 plus 1 over 4. Negative 7 plus 1 is negative 6. This is negative 6 divided by 4. We can reduce this to get x equals negative 3 over 2. Next, we solve the minus part. We have x equals negative 7 minus 1 over 4. Negative 7 minus 1 is negative 8. This is negative 8 divided by 4. This will give us x equals negative 2. So our answer is x equals negative 3 over 2, or x equals negative 2. Let's take our next question. Question 3. Solve the quadratic equation 5x squared plus 10x equals x minus 4. We will be using the quadratic formula. First, make sure your equation is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. That means everything is on one side of the equation and 0 is on the other side. This is not in that form. We have to move the x and minus 4. Since the x is positive, we'll move it across the equal sign to become minus x. Since we have minus 4, we will move it across the equal sign to have positive 4. We are not done. We can add like terms. 10x minus x will be 9x. So we will have 5x squared plus 9x plus 4 equals 0. Now it's in the form that we want. In this form, the coefficient of the x squared or the number with the x squared is your a value. Here, the a value is 5. The b is the coefficient of the x or the number with the x. So here, the b is 9. Then c is the constant. Here, the c value is 4. Now we put these values in our formula. The quadratic formula is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We'll just replace each of the letters by their values. Please take note of the color code so you know where everything is coming from. We have x equals minus 9 plus or minus square root of 9 squared minus 4 times 5 times 4 all over 2 times 5. We work out what is under the root sign first. 9 squared is 9 times 9, which is 81, minus 4 times 5, times 4 will be 80. So we add 81 minus 80 to get 1. We can then find the square root of the 1. Square root of 1 is 1. This part is simply negative 9. The 2 times 5 in the denominator will be 10. So we now have x equals negative 9 plus or minus 1, all over 10. Notice, we have plus or minus. We can solve the plus part first. We have x equals negative 9 plus 1 over 10. Negative 9 plus 1 is negative 8. This is negative 8 divided by 10. We can reduce this to get x equals negative 4 over 5. Next, we solve the minus part. We have x equals negative 9 minus 1 over 10. Negative 9 minus 1 is negative 10. This is negative 10 divided by 10. This will give us x equals negative 1. So our answer is x equals negative 4 over 5, or x equals negative 1. Let's take our next question. Question 4. Solve the quadratic equation 4x squared minus 9 equals 0. 
We will be using the quadratic formula. Please note that the quadratic formula will not be the easiest way to solve a question like this, but let's look at it. Then we will look at a better way to solve it. As usual, we will make sure our equation is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. What we see is that this doesn't have an x term. We can represent it by zero and still use the quadratic formula to solve it. So we will have 4x squared plus 0x minus 9 equals 0. Now it's in the form that we want. In this form, the coefficient of the x squared, or the number with the x squared, is your a value. Here, the a value is 4. The b is the coefficient of the x, or the number with the x. So here, the b is 0. Then c is the constant. Here, the c value is negative 9. Now we put these values in our formula. The quadratic formula is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We'll just replace each of the letters by their values. Please take note of the color code so you know where everything is coming from. We have x equals minus 0 plus or minus square root of 0 squared minus 4 times 4 times negative 9 all over 2 times 4 minus 0 is 0 and 0 squared is also 0. So we can simply write this as x equals plus or minus square root of minus 4 times 4 times negative 9 all over 2 times 4. We work out what is under the root sign first. Minus 4 times 4 times negative 9 is 144. We find the square root of 144. Square root of 144 is 12. The 2 times 4 in the denominator will be 8. So we now have x equals plus or minus 12 over 8. We can reduce the 12 over 8 to get x equals plus or minus 3 over 2. So x will be 3 over 2 or x will be negative 3 over 2. Question 5. Solve the quadratic equation 4x squared minus 9 equals 0. This is basically question 4, but we are solving it in a better way. We solve it the, with the same idea we use to solve linear equations. This time, we want the x to be by itself. We will move the negative 9 across the equal sign. Since it was negative, it becomes positive. So we have 4x squared equals 9. Next, we'll divide both sides by 4. This 4 will cancel out. Now to get the x by itself, we have to find the square root of both sides. When you find the square root, you have to introduce plus or minus. This is because for every squared number, there are two ways to get it, the positive and negative. Example, let's consider 36. Negative 6 times negative 6 will give 36. Also, 6 times 6 will give 36. So we can now find the square root. Square root of x squared is x. Square root of 9 is 3. Square root of 4 is 2. So we have x equals plus or minus 3 over 2. So we can say x equals 3 over 2, or x equals negative 3 over 2. We'll end this video here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, there are a bunch of ways you can support the channel and get more videos. All the links will be in the description and pinned comment. Please join our membership here on YouTube or get our full course. Have a great day. See you in the next video.